Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. I'm going to talk about the Mateen blood glucose meter, the TD4116, and potential error codes that can occur when you're using this blood glucose meter. First, some general troubleshooting tips with all blood glucose meters. You want to ensure that your test strips are in date, that you're not using expired test strips, that the test strips have been stored properly, that we're shutting the lid on the container each time to reduce the exposure to oxygen. We want to avoid operating the meter in extreme temperatures and that we ensure we're only using the test strips one time. Test strips are a one time use item. Sometimes a weak battery will give you errors. So if you haven't replaced that battery in some time, replacing the battery may resolve issues that you're having with error codes. High doses of vitamin C may result in inaccurate readings on your blood glucose meter. If you're dehydrated, that may alter your readings as well. Of course, using the wrong test strips. So test strips are specific to each brand of meter. You want to ensure that you're using the proper test strips for your meter. And you can run a control solution test that can give you an idea if your meter is operating properly as well. So error EU, EU means that you've used a previously used test strip. Simply just repeat the test using a new test strip. EF, error EF, means the test strip was removed before the test was complete. Simply repeat with a new test strip, but do not remove the test strip until the meter displays the results of the test. Some other error codes that you can see, it would be EB, that would indicate your battery is low. ET, ET means you are operating the meter out of the suggested operating temperature range, which is 46 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Other errors could be EE, E0, EA, and EC. Those are all just general meter errors. Uh, they suggest that you repeat with a new test strip. If it does continue, you can contact customer service. The number is found on the back of the glucose meter. I appreciate you watching this. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.